Well, it's been a while since we felt cold like this. Alan Henry's in Minneapolis with some last minute reminders. Hi, Alan. Hey, Frank, that's right. It is definitely starting to feel like winter out here right now. Like Chris just mentioned, it feels like it's about 25 degrees right now, but this weekend with the wind chill, it's going to feel about 50 degrees colder. Thankfully, there's time to prepare so you're not caught off guard by the cold. Wednesday's snowfall was no record breaker. I hate to say it, but I really haven't minded us getting this far into the winter before winter, winter sets in. But these Minnesotans know it's best to be prepared. So what I do is I get my snow kit ready for my car. So I got the shovel, extra pair of snow pants, the boots, the hat, the gloves, and then obviously extra time on the commute to work. On top of that, the Minnesota Department of Public Safety recommends having jumper cables, a flashlight, cell phone charger, and snacks in case you're stuck. The home is pretty much good to go. Had the furnace guy come out, I think, sometime before Thanksgiving. Everything's good to go there. Or is it? John Ryan with Gins Ryan says the usual number of people did their furnace checkup back in the fall. But with the mild temperatures, an unusual number decided to put off repairs, at least for now. I'll tell you, I've never looked at the weather forecast more in my entire life than I have in the last six to eight weeks. Ryan says with the cold snap, your heating system will be running hotter for longer, increasing the chance of it failing. Easiest thing to do is change your air filter. That is the most common thing that that people do not do. It's an easy maintenance thing. According to Center Point Energy, turning down your heat by 7 to 10 degrees at night or when you leave not only lightens that load, you can save up to 10% off your bill. Ryan says he's staffing up heading into the weekend and next week, anticipating those last minute calls. The last thing you're going to want is have your heat go out in the middle of the night and then you are scrambling and you're probably paying emergency dispatch fees if you really have an issue. Now, I did some checking around, and some places are offering furnace inspections right now for as little as $29. It's actually recommended that you have one of those inspections done every year, and that could save you thousands of dollars in problems and even maybe some cold nights without some heat. Frank? Don't want that. Okay, thanks, Alan. Be sure to check in with WCCO's Next Weather team on TV and online.